We now move on to uh, the PPCRV where we have Anna Singson uh, de Villa, uh, who will tell us about what's happening at PPCRV. Anna, are you there? Hi, hello, yes, I'm here. Good afternoon. Can you Good give afternoon. us an update of what is happening at the PPCRV? Well, right now we're continuing to show the transmission results which come from the Comelec server that is housed in PPCRV. Um, let me just clarify, a lot of people seem to think that all the data comes from PPCRV. That's not true. The data that all the networks and all the political parties are actually using right now come from a Comelec server that happens to be in the building of PPCRV. Um, the Comelec server for the past three elections have actually been placed inside the PPCRV premises. And um, from the server, several groups are actually um, mandated by law and also credited <coughs> by Comelec to be attached. You know? And those groups are PPCRV, um, KDP, UNA, um, Liberal Party, NPC, PDP Laban, CNN, TV5, Rappler, GMA7, ABS-CBN, um, NAMFREL, and um, Philippine Daily Inquirer. So all of us source our data from the Comelec server, which just happens to be in PPCRV. So I'm trying to clarify that because everybody is thinking that the data is all sourced from PPCRV. No. We all source, PPCRV included, we all source our data from the Comelec server, which happens to be in the PPCRV compound. So as okay. of now, what we're doing is we're actually showing the transmission that we are sourcing from the Comelec server in our compound. And I think when I left uh, the compound, because I'm in another, I'm running for another meeting, uh, it was already at 95.54% of transmission. So mm -hmm. we're showing that. And on top of that, we have ERs being flown in from all points of the country. And we are actually manually encoding those so that we could bash them against the uh, transmitted um, data to see if that they actually match. Okay. Uh, well, that's good to know that you have a clarification there about the location of that server so that it does not be, get mistaken as your own. What yes. is your reaction to the announcement of Comelec about the special elections that are going to be held in 52 precincts amounting to about 17,000 votes on Saturday? Um, well, I hope they do it as quickly as possible because that's one of the reasons why our transmissions are really slowing down because many of the balanced um, transmissions are actually showing failure of elections. And the sooner they do that, the sooner we'll be able to see that vote. So I really hope they complete it on Saturday because they haven't, I think, uh, from, um, declared, fully declared failure of elections in all the, in all the balanced areas and also haven't even settled on Saturday yet. So the sooner that's done, the better, because what people don't understand is they're thinking, why are we getting stuck at this 95.5% and then every R just goes up by 0.01. Uh -huh. um, I guess that's because of the failure of elections and we need to see that data already. So I hope they really do those special elections very, very soon. Okay. And the OAB <laughs> counts as well, which still accounts for in our estimation around 1 million um, total registered voters. Um, have not yet been accounted for also. So I'm really hoping those get transmitted fairly quickly. So one million votes is quite material for the senatorial race, for the vice presidential race, yes. which are yes. tightly contested at the last two slots and between uh, Congresswoman Robredo and Senator Marcos. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, speaking of Senator Marcos, what, uh, what is your take on his uh, request for the Comelec to stop the unofficial count? Well, um, I don't think, I think, you know, the count is not just for Senator Marcos. The count is for the entire Philippine citizenry, for the voting public. It's our count. It's, we're all stakeholders here. It's not anybody's count. It's a democracy. So we have a right to see that uh, with transparency all the way through. My fear is that if uh, the count is stopped, people will even have more, uh, will have room to say things and um, to make allegations because they don't see what's happening. Whereas if you're seeing the count constantly being shown, you can see that there is some transparency or effort at transparency at least. So I don't agree in stopping the count. This is a democracy and people have a right to know. Okay, well said. Thank you very much. What about, uh, what about yes. Bong Bong Marcos's? Hi, Anna. This is Maria Ressa. Um, Hi, Maria. Hello. What Bong Bong Marcos actually said that part of the reason he thinks that cheating has happened is because of information that supposedly came from a PPCRV volunteer. Is that true? Do you know anything about that? Absolutely not. I heard he had a press conference, and what uh, I don't—if I may correct you—I wasn't there, but I was briefed. No, I was briefed. Uh, 
that what he actually said was he got information about a glitch from one of the accredited, Maria, one of the accredited uh, uh, organizations or org watchers in PPCRB. Now, the accredited watchers in PPCRB, as Maria, as you very well know, there are two areas in PPCRB. One is our command center where our volunteers go to encode, and the other one is the high security area where Rappler also is. Yes. And in that, uh, in that high security area, you know that very well because you're there. I see you there too. There are 10 organizations of us who are part of that uh, workstation connection room that work in that server room. That's a very high security area. Yes. I would think that's what he's referring to, not the PPCRB volunteer, because he did say one of the accredited organizations in PPCRB. And that's what I want to clarify. The server is in PPCRB. It is not our server. It is Comelec server. It just happens to be in PPCRB. Got it. And so I really don't appreciate his trying to pound this off on PPCRB at all. So, so last question from me, at least before I give you back to Chacha, is the overseas uh, vote. How long will it take to count this, and do you expect this to make it any significant differences for the vice presidential race? Okay, you know, I'm, I'm glad you asked that, Maria, because I just asked Commissioner Bottom about that a while ago, because if you look at the breakdown, it's actually areas like uh, Washington, and big areas like Washington, Canada, Saudi Arabia, UAE, uh, that have not transmitted yet. And they're... The total uh, registered voters in the OAB that have not uh, transmitted yet would be something like 1 million because we did a precinct to total voter registration um, analysis. So it's roughly 1 million for the OAB. But you have to realize, I'm sure you know that in the OAB, there's only roughly 30% turned over. So maybe there's still around 300,000 votes there. When I asked Commissioner Nidim, I said, come on, there's very good transmission in, like, in Washington and in Canada. So how come we're not getting it yet? Apparently, what he said was that um, everything gets consolidated in the capital city. Like for the U.S., everything has to go, all the ERs have to go to the capital, which, which is Washington. And then when it's there, they consolidate it, and then that's when they transmit. Um, same for other areas like in Saudi Arabia, it's in Riyadh. This is what he told me. He goes, and they have no control over the speed, the distance, the travel time, and the, the means of travel in those countries. So when I asked him, you think within this week, he said, we have no control over that because it's another country. And huh. it really depends when they can all go to the capital and send it. That's what he said. Okay. Uh, Anna, one more question. How about the absentee yeah. voting? Uh, the absentee votes, have they all been accounted for? The absentee votes, I have to look at that, but um, I didn't see them. Um, I didn't see them as part of the list, uh, the the missing, not missing, um, untransmitted precincts. I don't recall seeing them there, but I can look at that in, into that in detail. But aside from the one million OAB um, total registered votes of one million, there's still around 1.5 total registered voters who have not transmitted yet in the Philippines uh, alone, in, in our local terrain alone. And then if you look at the uh, 80%, the turnover is around 80% this election. If it's around 80%, that's still around 1.2 million. So 1.2 million roughly from the local precincts and another roughly 300 from the OAB. So we're accounting for still 1.5, so it's still very material. Yes, that's right. Well, thank you very much, Anna Davidia Singson. Thank you for your update. And um, we hope that we get through this election soon. Thank you.